Welcome back. Only on Fox tonight, we're speaking with a local artist who is remembering a hometown hero. Now, Joey Winonarts painted a picture of James Radio Kennedy and coach Harold Jones. The artist's work is no stranger to the area. He's also done paintings of Chadwick Bozeman. Fox Carolina's Jarvis Robertson spoke with the artist this evening and joins us live in our newsroom. Jarvis? Yeah, Cody, the painting of radio and Coach Jones pays honor to the legacy, certainly, that's going to be remembered in the history of T.L. Hanna and also the Anderson community. Now, December 15th marked two years since radio passed away. Radio was a big inspiration. With every stroke against this canvas, it brings to life a legacy seen around the world. He was a hero to us, and also he showed that, that we showed the world that you could be a mount to anything if you put your mind to it. Joey with an art says the life and story of radio is what inspired him. I started watching documentaries, see what he was going through in his life. I felt like I wanted to pour it into the painting. Radio was like, a, like family. Coach Harold Jones' reaction to seeing the painting was fitting. I want him remembered forever. The painting was finished at T.O. Hanna High School, a place near and dear to both radio and Jones's heart. I reached out to Anderson School District 5 for their thoughts. I was given this statement that reads, anytime we have someone in the community who wants to support our schools, give back to the Anderson community, or leave something to commemorate the radio legacy, we totally support that. The story of radio is to shine a spotlight on love and respect. People with special needs, they just like you and I. And that's the thing we wanted to get out. Anybody have this ability, I want them to know that you amount to anything. You can change the world. You can. Now, Joey plans to gift the painting to Teal Hannah High School sometime early next week. We're live in the newsroom tonight. I'm Jarvis Robertson, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.